In this video, we are going to play around with ICM photography. I'm going to use this little Sony RX Mark 7. This is my favorite camera to use for ICM photography because it's small and easy to manage. It has all the zoom range I would want and there's no need for the best image quality from a full frame camera because ICM photography is basically a blurry mess anyway. So this setup is perfect. I am using a variable ND filter on this camera so I can get the shutter speed down to one second since it's so bright outside. So I'm going to make two videos about this. This video is for the daytime and the second video will be for the nighttime. I'm at a tourist spot because I want as many people as I can to be in my photos. And so let's go try this out. This first spot always has a lot of traffic. So I'm going to use the zoom to zoom in some to get the building and some people walking in front. You can see I'm just going to slightly shake the camera a little. It doesn't have to be a lot of shaking, especially when you use a zoom. What I find is the more you zoom in, the less you need to shake. The wider you are, the more you need to shake the camera. And here's the results. I really like this one. I was able to get this family walking over and the colors of the red building plus the yellow kid complement each other nicely. This next spot I was hoping to get some sort of silhouette type of vibe. Again, it's a lot of foot traffic, so it has a lot of potential to get a good mysterious photo. So I just do the same thing. Zoom in some, have the shutter on one second, and slightly shake it. I didn't notice it at the time, but the green glass in the background turned out to be a cool part of the photo. And here's the results. I got the silhouette that I was hoping for, and I really like the green background. I like how the kid holding the mom's hand is pretty clear, while everyone else is not so clear. I'm happy with this photo too. This next attempt, I'm just going to walk and take photos of what's in front of me. The idea is to let the walking also contribute to the camera shaking. So not only am I shaking the camera, but we now have me moving forward as well. And here's the results. I had to make this into a black and white because the color version just wasn't good. I like this, but not as much as the previous one. I somewhat wish the face were a little more intact, but overall, it's okay. This next spot is the Christmas tree. This is going to be a good opportunity to get people standing still as they pose at the tree. But also a lot of people are walking in front of me, so this might be more difficult than I'm hoping for. And here's the results. This came out great. You can clearly tell that's a Christmas tree, and you can tell you are in a crowd. And what I really like most about this photo is the heart-shaped balloon on the right and how it looks like it's floating upward. The colors are great, and I would say this one turned out really nice. This next spot, I saw the balloon guy, and I wanted to try to get balloons somehow. I wanted to see if I could get as much of a colorful scene as I could. Here's the results. The guy crouched down for a moment, and I like how this looked. The colors are nice, the background colors are also nice, and I like the splash of orange from the buildings. This next spot is just another area where people hang around. I'm pretty much doing the same thing as all the others. Zoom in some and shake the camera a little. I wanted to see what I could do with this guy and the kid on his shoulders. Here's the results. This is exactly what I was wanting with this photo. You can clearly tell it's a kid on his dad's shoulders, but it also still has the ICM style where it looks like a dream or a sketch. This could be one of my favorites. This next spot I am just trying to see what I can get with the crowd walking by. And here's the results. This lady walked in front of me, and I think it turned out nice. The backpack definitely is the main part of the photo for me. This next spot, I'm using the zoom all the way to 200 and seeing what I can get with the people farther away. The sun is so bright at this angle that the photos were looking really hazy, which gave it a cool effect. And here's the results. This is one of the coolest photos where you just want to look at it for a while to see what you're seeing. I like that it's mostly legs and the rest of it fades off into what looks like cloud of smoke because of the position of the sun. This spot is more of the same. The result is okay. I'm not super happy with this, mostly because I don't like have sign logos in my photos. I usually want to keep those out of ICM photography photos because I don't like trying to read the words. 
And this last photo, I'm walking back to the start and I'm trying to get a photo again while walking. And here's the results. This is another one that I didn't expect to like so much, but I do. I like how it's a crowd of people and you can kind of make out people's figures, but then again, kind of can't. And I'm really happy with this photo. And all right, that was fun. I'll post the second part of this video in the description below once I make it. It will be the same thing, but during nighttime to see what kind of difference that would make. These four photos I like the most, and I want to know which one you like the most. Vote by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.